from someone in the chat room this last week came through and said I, what if we had a soldering iron that would retract or would protect us if we drop it so it doesn't burn the carpet burn ourselves I mean a, a lot of us use soldering irons almost on a daily basis and you know, sometimes when you drop the soldering iron, you're just scrambling to get away from the thing because. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, yeah. No, no, I was just saying, get it up. You dropped a soldering iron. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so it got me thinking. You know, how could we protect ourselves if we drop a soldering iron? So, we have these wonderful micro machine devices, these accelerometers. Today, you find them in Wii remotes. Um, they're protecting our hard drives when we drop our laptops, that shut them down so they don't crash. Why can't we do a, uh, a soldering iron that retracts when we, when we drop it? So chatting with the guys in the, in the chat room, we came up with a couple schemes to do this. One would be where the soldering iron tip would retract in, into the handle if we drop it. And the other one, what if a protective sleeve would fly over the tip if, if we drop it? And actually a, a third thing came out of our discussion was what if we had a soldering iron that when we pick it up that it starts to heat itself or the tip comes out. If you put really smart controls on these accelerometers you can really infer a lot of actions that are happening in your hand when you pick it up. So the way an accelerometer works, it's a little chip, and the one I chose was a three-axis accelerometer. You know, it, it, it gives an analog output on X, Y, and Z, depending on which way it moves. The way it works is on the chip, micro-machined, are little capacitor plates. And there's a, a center-fixed capacitor plate in each axis, and so when you move the device side to side, this capacitor plate is somewhat free floating in here and moves a little bit closer to one electrode or a not or, or not, so you can measure how much the center electrode is moving around. So I want to show the circuit and the prototype. So here's the prototype. On the bottom side, I have an accelerometer, I have a simple TTL part and a transistor to turn on the solenoid to retract the tip. And I have a reset button that will reset it back to its, its uh, usable state. So if I reset it, the soldering iron tip is out here. We have a solenoid back here. And if I drop it, see if I can do it, I, I don't want to drop the whole assembly. We should see the, the tip go in. So there, it just pulled in when I dropped the soldering iron. So I can reset it again, back to soldering. Oh, I dropped it again. It pulled in. So here's what the circuit looks like. So I have the accelerometer. I have some capacitors hooked up to the, the XYZ analog output. I have some signal shaping on there that um, detects kind of a, a delta motion. I have a flip-flop that has the clock input driven by the output of the accelerometer. So when you drop it and there's enough motion, it causes this flip-flop to turn on, which then turns on the solenoid. And then the reset button just resets the flip-flop. There's a lot of different ways that we can we could do this. We could this is probably not ideal, but it's it proves the point. Uh, when it's off, there's a spring here pushing it out. It's not very usable because it, you know, the, the the soldering iron tip is moving all over the place. But if we if we do an assembly, perhaps like this, this is a a spring-loaded solder sucking uh, tool. When you push, when you cock the device, you spring load the unit and then there's a little push button that you can push and instantly pull the tip back in and it would be much easier to trigger it that way plus it has a very positive um, very positive um, outward position 
Another option that we could have is we could use a device like this off of a pinball machine. This is a pinball elevator from a Gottlieb pinball, which has several solenoids. So we can have one solenoid in the out position, and then when we drop the device, we could have it pull back in and pull the tip back in. And uh, other options is the, the collar idea. Um, the collar idea might be ideal because if you have a big glob of solder si sitting on the tip of this and this thing suddenly moves in, that blob of solder is going to be floating in the air or flying through the air at you. So a lot of ways that we can utilize this type of accelerometer drop protection device. Maybe